Welcome back to another Handyman Land video. Today's video is going to be about a cadet wall heater. This wall heater, I put it in about two years ago and I just didn't get the opportunity to um, put the video out there. It's one of those videos that just fell through the cracks. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it helped someone out there. Thank you for watching. Today I'll be installing this cadet wall heater. It's new construction. Um, putting it in here 12 inches from the floor I'll be connecting it to an outlet just in case I don't want the kids to control it it does have its own knob at the bottom to control the temperature I don't want the kids to turn it on during the middle of the summer First, I'm going to start by just connecting the ground wire. So you have a few knockouts. I put mines here. That's where the wire is going to come in. You have some also in the back, the bottom. Here's the switch that I'll be using. For some reason, it was hard to get that switch I guess through COVID things are harder to get now but you see here designed for heavy use that's what I'll be using today next step is to run the source from the breaker box to here So here's my source. I labeled this a few weeks ago. As you can see, go to the panel box. How I labeled it, three and four. So I just gotta make sure that I shut off the right circuit before I tie in. Yeah, I just wanna note before installing this, do the math. This unit here is a thousand watts. And um, I'm running this on a 20 amp breaker, 12 2 wire. And a thousand watts, I can still have outlets and some lighting. But just make sure if you're tying into an existing line, you need to know what's connected to that line. If you don't, um, you got to be very careful. You don't want your breaker tripping after you install this and have to redo the whole project. So here's on the back side. Um, it comes with a thermostat. Just want to show you something with the thermostat real quick. The button that it came with. See the red lines? Well, it wasn't. Everything was completely white. I couldn't see these lines. Um, let me move my headlamp out the way. And so I took a red Sharpie and just painted every single little line so you can see when it's up or low because once, once when I first opened the package, I couldn't even tell what was what. At least now you can actually see when it's high and when it's low. Just want to show you the staples that I love using. These NM staples. I purchased them at Lowe's. I buy them by the 200 account. It's so much better and they don't bend. I use them for the attic, basement. I haven't had any problems with them. There's other kinds that they just bend as you're hammering. Got the wire where I need it. Always leave extra. Don't worry. You could always use the rest to do pigtails. Here it says common. Over here it says see you only. So this is only so you can get the proper length of stripping your cable to place it inside the common 
common is for the source of energy and over here is to feed your whether you're doing um, lights or what I'm doing is to control the heater and CU is for ground so now I just have it hooked to the fluke meter just to show you right now is on the off position So common, this is your off position. Then when you're turning on your light switch or heater, it's on. Just wanna show you the difference in the switches. So this switch comes in this box. This switch, which is commercial, comes in this box. They're same thing. Can I use this one for what I'm doing? Yes. Do I want to? No. Because this is 20 amp. This isn't. And look at the how beefy one is from the other. Hey. So for what I'm using it for for the heater just go the right route don't go cheap use the commercial 20 amp when only if you're using 12 2 wire but when you're installing a heater you should you shouldn't go with any other gauge but 12 2 wire that's my opinion so I just want to show you I pigtail the ground I like using these guys. I usually purchase the Wago nuts, but um, they don't carry that at Lowe's or Home Depot. This is the brand they carry, and they work just as good. Um, I just noticed you have to kind of like twist to get them in, and they'll go right in. If you just try to push them through, you're going to have trouble getting in. You have to actually twist the line in, and then you can see that you when you're all the way through then you have your source going to your common and this is your line that's going to feed the heater for the neutral I'll be using a wiggle nut these are the older style ones they work great I love them you just push the clips up push your wire in and then just lock them in place these are the newer ones that they sell they're pretty pricey but you can get them online cheaper um, a lot of places are starting to sell them let's see the number there these I believe I got from Amazon um, they're almost maybe like 50 cents a piece but they're easy to use and you know that when you're running this many wires in there's five you're not going to have a problem when you lock them in place switch is connected just want to show you neutrals go together I pigtail the ground now I just I'm going to put electrical tape so I have it wired up right now this sits on this little lip there just pull it up that's how it's wired up your hot your neutral your ground ground um, the wiggle nut I it's not for any particular reason it's just it was in hands reach when I grabbed it so I just threw it on 
that's basically it right there how to wire this up so I'm going to keep the cover off for now just to test it so now the wiring is complete I not gonna put the face cover until I'm done the room but that's pretty much how it's gonna look that's how the face cover is and I put an additional switch up top so the kids can't turn it on during the summer it's on now you could turn it on from here It's throwing hot air. It's much stronger than I was thinking it would be. So you can see I turn it on. Turned off. So, if you have small kids and you're installing one, I recommend just put an extra switch where high so the kids can't reach it. So now the wall's in. All that's left is to put the two screws and your control knob. Line it up with the groove. Let's turn on the power. It's on low. That is like really hot. Perfect. That's off. So I recommend just paint these lines so you can see what's when it's low, when it's high, when it's off. Thank you for watching Handyman Land. Like and subscribe. Well, there you have it. That was my video on a cadet wall heater that I filmed back in 2020. I'm finally able to share it with you. I have many more videos, so like and subscribe, hit that bell icon. And behind me is the soon to be Handyman Land Workshop. So stay tuned and thank you for watching.